La Vuelta Femenina has kicked off a week-long Grand Tour, the first in the women's calendar this year, and Chloe Digert, Voss, Vollering are here. Digert being back is interesting. Now, it kicked off with a team time trial in Torre Vieja. Mark was in the Dutch National Champs jersey. Cool is probably the best, well, no, is the best sprinter here. Persico for UAE. He's had a great season. The world champ, Van Vlerten. So the first stage race, we'll see Van Vlerten going head-to-head with the aid of Lippert against Demi Vollering, who I believe is in the leader of the UCI classification. But this TTT, we don't often see them on the women's calendar, and the World Tour teams did have a big advantage. Equipment-wise, particularly those who probably share resources, uh, like a Jumbo Visma, a DSM, or uh, Jayco Alula, for example, and Jumbo were the best team. Narrowly, they finished with four riders. They seem to do everything right, in terms of strategy, pacing, not just randomly dropping riders through a corner. Kenya Schramm maybe had the most firepower with Chloe Digert, probably the best, most talented time trial rider in the world. I think it's pretty accurate to say she just had that terrible injury, but they got her to pace some of the, the uphill drags, and I think that put her teammates under a lot of pressure. And you see here, they lose by less than a second. I freeze-framed it. It's the fourth rider that sets the time, and I wonder if the riders had kept pushing at the front would they have set a quicker time? And the other riders had to move out of the way. So instead of the riders at the front freewheeling, I feel like they've cost time there um, by the riders behind having to move out of the way. And yeah, just a bit of a messy finish. SD works not so good, even with Vollering and Royce. So, but it's up to how, would, how much time would Van Vleuten gain or lose? And it was, listen, not huge gaps. It's a short TTT. Jumbo Visma win narrowly by less than a second. Henderson was first over the line. She takes the red jersey and a very narrow gap over Canyon Shram. So could Diget go into the leader's jersey the next day? Trek Segat Fredo too far behind on bonies. And here it was from Ori Huela, stage two to Pilar de la Joradada. We're in the, I think, the Mercia region of Spain. And the, the profile didn't look like too much. And there's a break and it got brought back pretty easily. But it depends on the way it's raced. And there's smaller teams here. And it really kicked off thanks to Canyon Shram on the climb. And it was mainly, though there was a crash, I think Persico was involved as well in this sort of left, right, double back, uh, low speed. But the race continued on afterwards. And Persico's pedaling action to me looked pretty unaffected, uh, which is good to see. Uh, she's probably better for the punchy stages. But here's the intermediate sprint. Digert, you know, she wears the short or the high shorts rather and the pink shoes. So she's easy to pick out. So I like it when riders like Dunbar wear white glasses or Digert with the pink shoes makes them easy to pick out. I wish more riders did it, frankly. And here's this collection of hills. And it was it was a fake average gradient because there was descents in it and then when it back, went back up again. But I don't think Diger kicked off. It was more Nuvia Doma or Shabby and, and Royakas who moved. And I wonder if, like, yeah, Diger, maybe she couldn't on the hills. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's Fisher Black marking proceedings. Trek looked to me to be going for Riolini. They were, Diger seems to be on uh, policing or domestic duties for her. But then it came down to a sprint. And we had Charlotte Cool made it over. Voss made it over despite all the Canyon Shram shenanigans. You see the two DSM riders. One of them is Charlotte Cool. Now, she is an absolute burner. She beat Lorena Vibers head-to-head in the uh, UA Tour, I think, in the pure sprint stage at the start of the season, and then Vibers got her back. But still, no one normally beats Vibers. And so she's here without Vibers. Got Diget thinking about something on the left-hand side in the pink sh- uh, shoes. And Royster, I believe, just controlling for Demi Vollering, trying to keep it all under control. Voss and Marcus are both in white jerseys, but Marcus is a taller figure and Voss is currently on Anna Henderson's wheel on the red jersey. So bonus seconds could change it. If Digert wins the stage or takes bonuses, Voss or Yumbo don't take any bonuses. Digert could be going into the leader's jersey here based on this sprint. Lippert's on the right-hand side of the German national champs jersey. And it's not that technical a finish. And I think that's a problem for Digert here. So there's two reasons. So Marcus starts her lead out here. She's got Marcus and Henderson and Voss. They're the only real lead out, and Charlotte Cool doesn't have five for Georgie to set things up either. So Yumbo Visma had the best lead out with Mark as that tall figure, and Voss slides onto Henderson's wheel. They're both in the white jersey on the left, and Diget here you see she's cooking something up. She slides up, and, and if there's a corner here, and if Hannah Henderson wasn't so strong, I think Diget wins this stage. She gets look at the separation she gets. Now she had track specialist originally. 
for the USA Olympics or World Championships. I don't know, not a track guy, road cycling's my life. But look at that gap she's created. And now Voss has a very difficult decision this close to the race. Voss is, looks in good shape. She jumps. Problem is she jumps, bridging this gap to Daggett's wheel with 300 to go. And, and there's a real gap. You can't just sit, sit in the front on a shot. It foreshortens it. But problem is Charlotte cools on her wheel. And so she drags up. Charlotte Cool to Digert, and, and Digert still looked like she might nearly win if Voss gave up at this point. And, and if there was a corner, I think Digert does win. But here's the weird bit: Voss comes out of the wheel, and, and then looks over and doesn't pedal for like half a second. Or I don't know. She, I thought she was gassed, and that's why she was looking like, ah, oh, I don't have the legs. I'll just stop. But she, she still had something, and she looked over, and yeah, Charlotte Cool beats her by maybe three quarters of a bike length, but. I don't know, probably cool wins anyway, but it was just odd for for Voss to sort of be, where is where is uh, Charlotte Cool? And it, it put her off a little bit instead of just concentrating on the sprint. But Cool wins, big for her, takes her first Grand Tour stage. I can't wait to see her. I assume she'll be at the Tour de France Farm having Swift later. Ahead of Voss, Diget takes four bonies. Voss takes six, though. She goes into the red jersey. Uh, I think Diget must have taken some bonus seconds in the intermediate. Only a second. Ahead of Diget. Marcus in third. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Diget is one to watch. She's going to try again. Canyon Shram are going to try and get her a stage win or she'll just get one herself. So I think that's coming probably before the weekend. But until tomorrow's video.